welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of a new style of video that I'm going to try and do. Um, it's kind of a combination of a vlog and a review. So I enjoy vlogging, but I feel like I never have anything interesting to do in vlogs. But then I also love reviewing books, obviously, hence why I have the channel. But I feel like but I feel like I never have like the time or space to talk about the books that I read because I'm talking about so many books in a wrap up. Also, just as a quick side note, I won't really be doing many TBRs just because I am so much of a mood reader that I will set a TBR and then I will refuse to read anything on that TBR no matter how much I want to read it. I also just... I also have a hard time with TBR videos because, you know, you want to give summaries of the books but I always not I always don't like to not know about too much about the book or too much what's going to happen before I read it so filming TBR videos would just be like this book is about this this book is about this and I wouldn't have a lot of detail or information to give you about the book that I'm going to read so I'm not really going to be doing a lot of TBRs really I'll only do TBRs if it's like for a readathon, or these are books I kind of want to read in the next couple of months, more so maybe in the season, like this spring I hope to read this, this summer I hope to read this, that way I'm held accountable but at the same time like I'm not under pressure to read those, so like TBR videos aren't really going to be much of a thing, wrap ups probably aren't going to be too much of a thing, I might still do a wrap up every once in a while just kind of being like these are the books I've read so far, especially if I don't vlog every single book that I read because I will vlog all the books that I plan on reading physically but I don't plan on vlogging, vlog reviewing, I guess that's what I'll call it, it's like a vlog review. I don't plan on doing vlog reviews of audiobooks because it's kind of hard for me to do because I film on my phone but I listen to audiobooks on my phone so like that's kind of hard to do both. <laughs> and so welcome to my first vlog review. I feel like that was such a long intro, but I'm still trying to introduce the whole concept and idea because it's not something I see a lot of other people do. Like obviously they'll talk about books in their vlogs, but then they'll talk about them more at length for the wrap up, but that's not quite what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering and repeating myself and actually talk to you about the book that I'm going to read in this very first vlog review. Huzzah! I'm excited. I hope you're excited because I'm excited. So the first book that I'm going to be doing in this vlog review is a bit of a chunkier book which is exciting and that is My Calamity Jane. This is by Lady Janies aka Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. There are three books of the My Lady Janes. There is this one and then there are two other ones and they're actually just starting to come out with the same idea but with Mary's in history. So the concept behind the My Lady Jane books and the now coming out uh, My Lady Mary books are that they take different people throughout history with the same name. So three books for three different Janes in history and soon to be uh, different books for different Marys throughout history. And they give them a histor- and they write a historical fiction but they always do some sort of like fantastical twist to it I believe. So for example this one My Calamity Jane is about the Wild West and the Jane that is in the Wild West and it's so obvious Calamity Jane in the Wild West obviously duh um, but the twist on this one is that there are werewolves involved which at first when I first heard that I was like oh no and I was and I was definitely like of the three Lady Jane books this is gonna be the one that I like the least just because I don't like Wild West books that's, it's not my favorite thing, but that's also why I'm starting with this one is because if I start with the worst one and I like it, I'm going to read the other ones and I'm going to love them even more rather than if I read the other ones, love them and then read this and I'm like, I just can't with the Wild West, it's not my thing. So I'm starting with this one. It's basically a gather round for a campfire tale of 10 gallon proportions as Calamity Jane, Frank, the Pistol Prince Butler, and Annie Oakley herself set out to cure the American frontier of a situation so hairy that it's downright wolfy because werewolves. So I am excited to read this. I really am excited to read it even if I don't like Wild West books. So 
I, I'm really excited. This is not the first book that I will be reading in 2021. Unfortunately, there were a couple of books that I started in 2020 and didn't quite finish. But yeah, oh yeah, and I'm filming this. Today is January 7. This is, this is vlog is not set to be a certain time. Like, I'm gonna put this down. So many other vlogs are so focused on like a week or a weekend or a readathon or something specific like that. This is not going to be like that. This is just gonna be whenever I'm reading, thoughts as I'm reading, and then an in-depth review at the end. So this could take me a week. It could take me a couple weeks. I hope to have it done by the end of the month at the very least. But if it's not done at the end of the month, then whenever I do finish the book, I will give a review and just kind of, you know, go through the process of editing and uploading this video. So it's not going to be a certain set amount of time. It's just going to be my journey reading through the book. The book. So it won't necessarily be daily updates if I'm not reading chunks of it daily or enough of it daily that I form a new opinion or idea or something like that. So yeah, this is gonna be a longer video just because I have to do all this explanation of my idea. Hello, so it is now quite a bit of time later. It is January 19 and it's actually the first day of school for me. I have my class in about an hour, a little under, maybe like half an hour, anyway. But I have been slowly reading My Calamity Jane. I'm on page 70. And and as I've mentioned before, I'm really not a big fan of Wild West type stories, but the thing is with this book is the narrators, the narration makes it so worth it. Oh my goodness, the narration styles of these three ladies is so funny because they, they'll add in jokes or they'll put in parentheses, like they'll break and be like, as your narrators, we this, or we want to explain this, or we add in a joke here. And it's just so entertaining to read the narration of this book, which is really good because sometimes I have a hard time with reading every single word in like long paragraphs for books. <laughs> so sometimes I'll just skim them, which is bad, but I don't think I'll be doing it with this book, which means I could be reading it quite a bit slower when I want to read it faster. <laughs> I want to have it done by the end of the month, but then if I do that, you know, I've only read two, maybe three books this month, which is kind of annoying, but you know, it's it's life so yeah i am just a very little ways into it but i'm hoping to try and spend time every morning either reading this or doing some writing i kind of have my class schedule where my classes are more in the middle of the day so hopefully in the morning i could do things that i enjoy and then the afternoon and evening i can do homework and actual work and etc and so forth so that's my update for you on this and i hope to get to reading more of it very soon just saw I've been doing some more reading of my Calamity Jane. I am a little over a hundred pages through and I just gotta say I love the feminism. There's just a little theme, the little trickle of feminism in this book uh, coming from Calamity Jane and Annie. I love it so much. The narration just consistent. I, I was so afraid that like starting off the narration that was really fun and really cool was just gonna like trickle out as the book went along but they've kind of been keeping up with it pretty well which is like thank you. Um, so yeah that's all I'm gonna say for now and I will update you guys once I've made like a more significant reading chunk so catch up with you later. Hey fellow reading warriors it is the end of February and I am still reading My Calamity Jane, but I have good news. Um, I kind of came out of my little mini reading slump, and I am now 100 pages from the end, so I plan on finishing it today. Yes, I am finally going to finish this book. My word, it's taken me so long to read, but I do really enjoy it. But, hmm, 
it, it just took me a while. I, I kind of set it down. I read some other books. I took some time away from it. And then I came back to it, and I'm really enjoying it. It is a fast read. I just It's just a Wild West. It's just not my thing. But this gives me huge confidence that all the other, like, My Lady Janie books, as well as the new coming uh, Mary books, the My Contemporary Mary, I am super excited for those. I think those are going to be much more up my alley, especially, again, I know I've said this so many times, I love the narrators and how they are breaking the fourth wall in the book. It's so much fun, and it's a really good way to keep me interested in the book. And I like the relationships in here and the character growth. It was alright, um, but I'll give a much more in-depth review at the end of this, hopefully either later tonight or tomorrow. I do plan on, on finishing it today, like I said, but I may not review it until tomorrow, just depending on what time I finish this. So, this will be coming your way very soon, and I am super excited to finally finish it. <laughs> and we're back. Hello. So, <laughs> it's March 1. Which means, um, I've been reading Calamity Jane for so long. I finally finished it yesterday, just like I said I was going to. I thought I was going to finish it, and I did. I sat down and I read the last hundred pages. But it took me so long to read this. Not because it's chunky. Like, it's, it's chunky, but it's really easy to read because the writing style is, like, very clear, very easy to read, as well as a lot of fun. I just, one thing I said throughout this entire video is I love the narration because the narrators will just pop in and break the fourth wall and be like, by the way, you should know this, or by the way, we think this of what just happened, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I loved it. It was probably one of, if not my favorite element of this book. So like it was not necessarily a slow read in terms of the writing style. It just took me forever to get through. And that was because I, near the beginning of it, I kind of went into a slump a little bit. Don't know if this book caused it or not. I'm just, I'm not a Wild West person. I don't like Wild West books, which is why I started with this book out of the My Lady Janies. I rated this book 3.5 stars, or 3 stars on Goodreads, but like on Storygraph I'm giving it 3.5 stars. It like it was a good book, it's a well written book. Like I said, there were elements of it I really liked, but it's just not my personal favorite or my personal preference. There are still elements of it that I was like, mm, not my favorite and not just because it was the Wild West, but again this is all my opinion, so you are fully welcome to read it and form your own opinion that is different than mine. I would recommend, I still will recommend this book. Just because I don't like the Wild West or some elements of it does not mean I won't recommend it. There was, so this follows Calamity Jane and she's with Wild Bill and Annie Oakley and Frank, the Pistol Prince, and they do a show by day and hunt werewolves at night and they call werewolves guru um, until, you know, things happen and I don't want to talk too much about the plot just because it is kind of a generic, kind of slow moving plot. Not, not that it's generic, but it is like slow moving and a little predictable until the twists at the end turn. Like you know, like you can predict some things, but then there's a twist on what you predicted where it's like, yes it is, but we're going to add this twist to it as well. So I don't want to say too much about the plot because I just really don't want to give anything away and I don't want to tell people something they might figure out. We'll see. But there was pretty good character development in here. Annie Oakley had some good character development. I feel like it was kind of like... You know, one character said one thing to her and she repeated that over and over and over again and all of a sudden her character had developed. So it wasn't through a series of actions or through a series of events or things that were said. It was like one person finally criticized her and she, you know, sat on it for a while, which is fine, but I just wish it hadn't been so blatant. I wish it had been a little more minimal throughout the book rather than, you know what, here's what I think of you. Now a couple chapters later, change your opinion. Um, so like it was good, but it was like, like it was good. It wasn't great. What was funny about this book, again, going back to the, narr the narration, is that there are so many words and phrases in here that I recognize, like using not just pop culture, but like also what you would expect from the Wild West, like Annie, get your gun. I was so excited when I finally read that phrase. Or there's like... 
Reach, they included Reach for the Sky, which I was like, oh my word, Toy Story. They even included a Scooby-Doo quote in here. Like, how interesting. Um, I don't know if I love the Scooby-Doo or not. I mean, obviously I love Scooby-Doo, but like, huh. And then there were little romance subplots throughout the book. And I liked each romance subplot, but I also liked how they weren't overpowering too much at all. There's a love interest for Calamity Jane, which I loved. I shipped it. It made me so happy, but it was also such like a minimal plot line that it didn't take away from the story too much. And I really appreciated that. I really liked that because it definitely felt much more Jane style, much more Wild West style. It made me happy. And then there's another romance between characters that I didn't mind at all and I think was great and was really cute, especially by the end. It was adorable. Um, yes, please. So the romances in the book were, were really good and the backstories for the characters were also pretty good as well. But yeah, I really appreciated like this found uh, family trope that was in here and I really, it's just, it seems like a fun group to hang out with, but at the same time, like them as a group never really happened. It's always like split off into pairs or like a couple of them at a time. There weren't too many moments of all of them together, but I still think the group dynamic was a lot of fun to read. And that ending though, I'm not gonna say anything. This is a spoiler for your review, but that ending. One, it was very Wild West traditional ending, but two, them twists, them twists though and here's the thing i'm really bad at calling twists in books like i do it all the time i'm like oh this is gonna happen and then i'm like when i call it i'm right but i almost never call things like i almost never say oh i bet this is gonna happen because i'm just reading the story i'm just continuing i don't stop and think about it all the time sometimes i do but not all the time and so the things i predicted did come true but there were also things in here that I did not predict, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, it's a 3.5 stars, not because it was bad, just because it wasn't my cup of tea. Um, so I'm, I'll still be recommending this. I'm still going to keep this book and I'm still super excited to read the other ones. So there you have it. Also, I'm sorry if this whole time my camera has been just like slightly crooked or it looks like the bookshelf is crooked. Something happened with my stand. I don't know what, but I'm going to work on it. Anyway, so that was my vlog slash review of My Calamity Jane. Oh my word, that took me forever to read, therefore forever to film, and I am so sorry about that. Uh, it literally took me like two months to read this book, which was insane. But I, yeah, so hopefully when I do vlogs like this in the future, where I do a vlog of me reading a specific book, a, there will be more entertaining things in the vlog, like me doing like other activities or something interesting. I just don't do very many interesting things and I'm home all the time because of COVID. <laughs> so, um, and then also too, hopefully they won't be vlogs that span over multiple months, you know, maybe a week, maybe two, but like, I don't foresee vlogs like this to span as long as this one did. I think it, it was just, it was an interesting time for everyone. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I hope you stick around to watch more vlogs like this or more um, videos. I have lots of fun videos planned for coming up soon and I post every Thursday. So hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notifications so you know when I post every Thursday at the same time. But it's still nice to get that reminder and leave a comment down below what you think of either Wild West books in general or uh, werewolf books as well. And if you read the book, what your opinion of it was, or if you're going to read the book, or if you're not going to read the book now. Or if you read any of the other Lady, JD, Lady Janies or the Marys, um, because I do want to continue reading those. So let me down below if you've read them and what your thoughts on were the, uh, what your thoughts for the other ones were. Um, otherwise, click the thumbs up button if you like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, I wish you a happy reading.